What's up guys and gals, welcome back to the Nerd Castle for the next episode of Holy Potatoes, we are in space! My name is Splattercat, uh, that's my cat Puddlebutt the third, and this is my starship filled with people that are doing things. We should probably focus on research for right now because why not? There's not really that much else to do. Let's go with... Starch mining would be a smart one, make a little bit of cash right there, 15% more money would actually... It'd be pretty good. It'd be pretty good. Alternatively, we could go for engine efficiency so that we can stay out a little bit longer. I'll go for engine efficiency first. So there it is. Crew are required in order to do this. Well, you go do it. There we go. So engine efficiency is on the move. On this side. He's good at making all this shit, so let him make it then. That takes 45 of a resource we already have loads of, so we might as well put him on there so that something's crafting the entire time we're out and about. And then off we go to Jinja to hopefully find whatever it is we're looking for out here. I'm not even really sure. We're trying to help an old man find his shop or something like that. It's rain, so it removes burn every turn. All right. Um, we have the resources right now to really kind of open up on these dudes, so I'm going to. Off we go with a couple of shots right there. Uh, a little bit of a miss right there, but still, even for a miss, it was a big hit, so I'll take it. Even for a miss, it was a big hit. Let's see if we can fish out a kill right there. I'm curious. I want to see what this gun does. So Sick Beats is out. Ooh, lower the attack and the defense and the accuracy, though, so that's good. Still going to take some damage along the way, but that can't really be helped. Fire at everything. That's a really, really good debuff gun. I like that gun. We'll see what we can do with it. Yeah, he can bargain for his life. I'm not a killer like that, you know. I'm not going to chase somebody down and, like, murder him in the middle of the street over spilled milk, fired lasers, and all that kind of stuff. We're not scared. We're shaking with determination. That's what they keep telling me. I don't buy it. Yeah, go ahead and feed him the debuff first. 95% accurate. Man, that debuff, though. Yeah, make that shot miss. That's what I like to see. That's that good shit. Now light him up with what we got. Woo, what a hit. That's a really good hit. That was like one of those goddamn hits. <laughs> if it had been me, I'd be a little upset right now. No lie. Ah, unload on him. Let him have it all. Woof. Not bad. Okay. So with our cash stacks quickly rising back up to meet us. Like, I, we spent so much money just now. And it's all coming back. It's not even that bad. The Adventures of Puddlebutt the Third, Part 3. Puddlebutt is wandering around the planet while her owners are out. She's looking around for a nice present to bring back to her owners. Walking past a patch of grass, she notices movement. She narrows her eyes and begins to stalk quietly towards the movement, licking her lips. The grass rustles some more. Stalk towards the rustling. Puddlebutt stalks close, sniffing at whatever's in the grass. Another cat pops out, startling Puddlebutt the third into jumping backwards. They both approach cautiously and sniff at each other before running off to play. Puddlebutt the third goes back home, dirty and covered in grass and leaves, a present held in her mouth. It's a heart pendant. Hooray! Heart pendante! Hmm? Oh, cool. Another sheet of paper. Pacifist level three. Sure. Pacifist, I think, is a shrapnel weapon, so if we can craft a whole bunch of those... It'll work out great. I probably have another objective that I was supposed to run down, and I just didn't do it. I'm going to fire that one, because that gun is a really... Ooh, no, 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 no. Fire at that. Fire at that. He's got the same thing we've got, and I can't accept that. There we go. That's what I like to see. Make that thing trash. Trash tier. We'll open up on it with the good-ish. Pajow! I like how the lightning that comes out of that gun like squidges. Like it opens up and then it just like pops it like a lightning filled blackhead. Like, awesome. Mm. We'll fire that right there. Pazow! That's the sound my gun makes when I let my shit rain down on my enemies. I think a gunfight in the rain seems dangerous, especially since it involves electricity. Let's put shields up on some of our stuff here. And actually, he's going to get it from every angle. I don't use my abilities very often because they tend to use up your entire charge meter. And a lot of the time, it feels like in this game, you're just better off DPSing through and just dealing as much damage as possible as quickly as possible rather than, like, taking turns off to use supplementary stuff. I don't know if that's true or not. I could be completely and totally wrong. Let's 
So like, what does a heart pendant do for me? I have like all these key items, and they never end up being pertinent. Ah, you made a shit missile. Nice job, ass. What are you doing right now? Wasting my supplies making bullshit. Make another one until you get better at it. I should probably train some of my guys though too. That's the other part is that these guys don't really have the expertise to do a lot of the stuff that they're trying to do. Give him a new skill. I want to see what his full range, like his full range of stuff is before we do anything else. Where was I supposed to go for my next objective? Shit, we don't know. It's a medium hostile planet. I mean, we explored this one, so... Off we go. It's a turtle planet. A blue shell planet. It's pretty sick. Let's explore for a little bit, see if there's anything hiding out around here. Maybe we only have to explore on the planet that we've already been to. Gonna mash you up real good. I don't think you are. I don't think you are. Like, I think you think you are, and I appreciate the confidence. Like, I never want to deter somebody from being confident. But at the same time, I don't think you know what you're getting into right now. I don't think you really want to go there with me. Oof. Big ol' nasty ass hit right there. Good lord. Let's take that up to slot two. We'll defend them for right now. And on the third turn, we will expunge this enemy. It's interesting how different this playthrough is from my last one. Though my last playthrough, at this point, I was already stacking like three of the exact same weapon because I had found a weapon that was so overpowered that it was just like, well, that's what I'm going to use then. It's crazy good. There's a weapon you get later on that gives you as much money as damage that it deals, and it has like a 20% crit chance, and it does like 140 damage a shot. Basically, it's the pea shooter, but it gives you money every time you fire it. It's pretty incredible. Yeah, go ahead and unload right there. Lower that attack down a little bit. Make it suffer. I mean, it still dealt pretty good damage. No lie. That was still a pretty painful shot, but defense is down now, so maybe we'll be able to... Oh, we didn't do it. Okay. Never mind, then. We're going to take a big barrage right there, and it is going to hurt like hell. Slot 1 needs defense. Let's go ahead, and I'm going to give that to you right there. And hopefully we don't miss with the top gun. If we miss with the top gun, then that is that. We didn't miss. We did okay. A little bit of damage out to get dealt, but we might not make it off of this planet with all of our gear intact. We are soaking an awful lot of hits right now. That's okay, though. I've never had to actually evacuate you guys on camera. Ooh, a level 3 pea shooter. Very nice. I'll probably craft that. That's an upgrade. Might as well. All this combat, we're going to have to try and escape. Uh, let's go ahead and... I forgot my password. It's three. We'll execute... There it is. We will escape from this. Oh, the escape failed. Yeah. Take 900 bucks. I don't give a shit. Doesn't matter to me at all. I've made so much money off this trip anyways that 900 is just like a drop in the bucket. Who cares? We surrender. They got little white flags. <laughs> I've never surrendered before. So, what's up with our objective here? Like, let's just for a moment consider that it's not really telling us where we need to go or what we need to do. So, these are treasures. I wonder if these matter at the end of the game for, like, how well we do. That place was a little too much for us, which is unfortunate, because... You know, I thought we were going to be okay there. We will travel to there. As many souls as it takes us to be as efficient as possible. I'm going to go back to the planet where the weapon shop is, I guess. But we'll try our best to uh, figure things out there. Railgun Crafting 2 is done. So he's actually capable of doing just about every weapon. 
which makes her, aside from Shrapnel Craftmaster, it makes him basically the better choice. He got level 2. Oh, very nice. Okay. I'm going to take her off. And actually, I'm going to train her for a little bit. Because she's got combat prowess. So putting a couple levels on that is probably a decent plan. So I want her 20% on a fatal attack to reduce to 1 HP instead. That's okay. I would rather have her on combat prowess, though. It's a lot better. It's just a flat damage increase, which is pretty sick. Travel over to here. We should have enough left for at least one deployment. And we've got souls left, and we haven't really, like, kind of ran around too much. How far is it back to here? 17 souls. So that's going to take us down to 29. Actually, we have exactly enough, presuming that nothing goes wrong with our exploration. Oh, it takes 15. Never mind. Give me another crew assigned over here to handle her job on the lasers. This was a big planet, though, so it takes a little bit longer to get this one done, which is the unfortunate part. He wants to put a smile on my face. What, you got jokes? You got jokes you can try. Cool. Attack down. Decent amount of damage dealt, too, at the same time. We're going to shift that over to the two slot. Fire what we got. Wow. Snap that shield's ass in half. That shield had a rough day. Unload everything. The full barrage. Everything that's on us. Ooh. How do you feel now, Shana? Nana. -na. Not trying to be a dick, but Shana Nana. -na. Shana Nana Nana -na -na. Rocking that ship right there. He's having a horrible day. Mm, what do I dislike more? I think I'm going to go with that one right there. We'll see if he shifts around his shields at all, but I think the Hop Scorcher is probably what we should be worried about more than anything else. Just because that bouncy damage, though. Not too bad. Although at the moment we got Tempest going on, which is making it real hard to DPS. That'll work. Assuming both shots hit. That, that's the big constituent part right there. I guess anytime you're dealing with weapons with low accuracy, putting yourself a tiny bit at risk. Ah, uh, yeah. Heal my hull. I want to see what happens when I do this. So we get 300 back. And we hit him for... So we ended up with 75 on top better than we had previously. That's not too terrible. Could be worse. And I could have put the shield on my hull, too, which would have ate it. That's the other part. So, you know, that's always an option. Defense down and a miss. It's weird that even though it missed, it still dealt damage. I don't know what's up with that, but... It said that it was a missile miss, but it still dealt damage, right? I don't know if that's like a bug or what's up with that, or if it's some mechanic I'm not aware of where enemies can fire and miss and still deal damage. Maybe it's just because he's using a missile, possibly. So you get blown back by shrapnel or something like that. Man, we're just grinding out combat today, aren't we? All right. Unload on him. It's calm right now. Oh, good. We're going to heal every turn. That's nice. I like healing. Keep on firing. I'm glad we rotated our weapons around. It's actually nice to see some of the variety the game has to offer. Rather than just kind of spamming on the same thing every time. It's not going to heal that kind of damage, though. Jesus Christ. Yeah, that's the kind of damage that could add up a little bit too quickly. There we go. Perfect. Shields all blown the hell up like you're going to do something. I don't like Tempest. Tempest sucks. Although we are accumulating a lot of items that are going to be useful later on, so we'll sell those off when we get back to town. 
What's up with all this combat? Like, I know we're on a planet with more likely than... You know, we've got really, really hostile conditions right now. Simultaneously, though... We're we looking on HP. We're looking okay. Swap that over to the one slot. We will go... Give him the big stuff. Let him have it. Did a little bit of damage to some of his off cannon stuff, so that's nice. Taking a little bit too much damage, though, on some of our softer targets. It's unfortunate. Because they keep pumping rounds into our. Yeah, they keep pumping rounds into this pea shooter over here. We're going to have problems. Give it to him. One big blast from all three. That trifecta of pain. Very good. I knew there was probably very little chance he was going to survive that. Looks like we've got another encounter, too, because... The weather changed. The weather doesn't change if you don't... Like, if you, if you get to the end and you haven't had any more encounters, the weather doesn't change, so... Something to think about there. Hopefully this Tempest goes away. I don't like fighting in Tempest. It makes the fight take longer. That seems all right to me. We'll fire those. As long as it lands, it should be a considerable amount of damage. Although you do lose, you know, a little bit of your proclivities. Actually, no. Take that one right there. That's good. And assuming we don't miss. Yeah, we hit him so hard it lagged out the screen. That's what I like to see. That's the type of damage that Splatty likes. How hard you hit him. I hit him so hard the frame rate dropped. Yeah, buddy. Ooh, another encounter. Huh, there's a distress signal on a cargo ship. Uh, yeah, send him 11 bio waste. I have tons. So, they paid me a whole bunch of money. Even better. I'm not sure how we get this... I don't know if this quest just comes up randomly? Or, like, how this all works. I'm having trouble sorting it out. We're at 21 out of 21 storage, though, so we're going to have to bail out and go somewhere else. Like, I don't know how we get this number up a little bit higher. That's unfortunate. We need more information on the shop. Let's check these planets out. Well, it kind of depends what planets they want me to go to. I don't see anything flagged with an objective, so... Back we go. We'll get refuel, we'll get the hull patched up, and then we'll just start hitting planets, I guess. Places we haven't been yet. Okay. I can live with just what just happened. We also need to sell off some of these blueprints. Probably keep... So the shrapnel can go... Keep the pea shooter. Get rid of the missiles, because I don't care. Basically, I keep the shrapnel guns, because that lady's a shrapnel master. And so she's got a much better chance of crafting awesome shit out of it, but... Level 1 pea shooter can honestly go at this point. We're not going to use it. So there you go. That leaves us with a couple things left to play around with. I'm going to go to... This shop over here, and since plasma's dirt nasty cheap at the moment, I'm going to buy like 40 of it. There we go. Trying to even out my supply, basically, on things that I don't have. Then, we're still looking for crews, so we might as well. We got railgun accuracy, laser defense, and laser luck. That's pretty good. That's not bad. He is the law. That's what he thinks, anyways. Angela. She's a railgun master. Okay. Okay. Railgun Defense and Railgun Crafting. And then we've got Najina Winterfield. Missile Precision. That's pretty good because missiles aren't always accurate. And then Max HP for Missile goes up pretty well too. Mm. You know, it sucks, but I need somebody that's a little bit better at... Like, I need somebody... I already have a shrapnel person. It's a tough call. 
I mean, if nothing else, this extra person is somebody that could uh, just do research for me. I'll take Missile Fortification because 15% HP seems pretty good. And so she's back on the ship right now. It said she was good at crafting missiles too. Missile Precision. So we're still going to have to use him. He's in the bridge though. Now that she's finished with Combat Prowess 2. I'll bring her over here. And I would say Combat Prowess... Let's have her learn a new skill. I want to see what other kind of combat skills she gets. Along with... Railgun crafting, I don't really care about. We'll have him learn... Oh, I don't know. Laser crafting too, I guess. Spend a little bit of money and make it happen over here in the training lab. I like how they're doing like squats and jumping jacks to learn technical stuff. Might as well go down to that Schmedium planet. Let's go check it out. Schmedium, the perfect size for you. Gotta explore some planets. Don't really have much of a choice. So, oh, we got a new crew assigned here. So off of our blessed shooter over here. Yeah, I'm gonna suggest we move him over there because that's our laser dude. This side, it's just a unique weapon, so it really doesn't matter what we have over here. So we might as well just put her on something. I will try to phase this out for a, a missile of some kind, though, I think, in the future. She's got Shrapnel Master. Yeah, let's craft another Eviscerator. Why not? Shrapnel Master, go do your thing. We don't have a lot of time left to like complete this objective, and I really don't want to jump to the next zone, so... Losing my cool looking at you. Crush him. Let's fire... We'll open up on him with the Devils first. Oof, wipe that weapon right off the face of his hull. Said, no, sir. E, you want some? Not at all, is what he found out. My shrapnel gun is bigger than your shrapnel gun. <laughs> you got that feeling of shrapnel inferiority right now? You should. The shrapnel that I produce is the highest quality shrapnel. Mm, pretty good hit. Nice little 200 damage strike. Go ahead and spread it around a bit, though, because I like to share. Sharing is caring, after all. It is what kind, altruistic people do. Let's swap that over to the one slot to make sure that stays defended. Get them on out of here so that we can get a little bit of extra this and that. Tears will make a fine broth of wine, you know? Uh, that's crafting. I mean, I, I get the whole artisanal movement or whatever, but that's taking it a bit too far artisanally. You need to make tea out of tears. I realize that tea and tears both share the word T-E-A, but... And that would make for a great marketing slogan, like a fantastic marketing slogan, like one of the best marketing slogans. But it's kind of disgusting. I don't know how we're going to ask about this without knowing that shop the old man ran. I can't believe I forgot to ask. It'll be fine. We'll ask around for new shops and we'll find it eventually. Hey! Cassie looks around and spots a bald, spectacled potato carrying a laptop walking past. She calls out to him and he turns around. You know any new shops in the area? New shops? Uh, what would you give this for this information? Nothing's free around here. You have starch. Ah, this will work just fine. He helps them do a search on his laptop and finds a few new shops in the area and points out a bunch of flyers using his shop's inbuilt printer. Cassie and Faye thank him for his help and leaves with the stack of flyers. Nice! So we advanced the, que we advanced the quest slightly. Fantastic. I didn't want to leave it, like, on the edge like it was, you know? It's got me feeling kind of nervous about whether or not we can accomplish something. So we got a B-quality eviscerator. Look at that accuracy. Just garbage accuracy. Garbagey. So the next question becomes like, do we have to travel around to figure this out? Man, it's hella hostile over here. It's hostile AF out here. Jesus. I mean, 
mean, if we're going to go somewhere, I say we go to this planet right here. And then we tow back to there. We go to there to save the souls. Yeah, let's do it. I think we can handle it. We're out of time for the day, though. If you like what I do here on the channel, consider supporting me through my Patreon. It's a great way to make sure I don't go anywhere and I get to keep being a content creator. Aside from that, if you like the game, support awesome indie developers. Because if you don't support them, they go away and they go back and get day jobs, too. It's a vicious cycle like that. I will see you all in the next episode. If you want one, anyways. This might be the last one I record. I don't know. Be vocal about it. Bye-bye, everybody. This is Holy Potatoes.